We'll call to order the Board of Zoning Appeals. If you'll stand, please stand for the pledge. Uh, Mr. Farley, would you lead us in the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Call the roll, please. Gary Farley. Here. Amber Brown. Here. Jerry Sartain. Here. Joe Machoto. Here. William Harper. Here. Renee Curtis. Here. Zane Cantrell. Present. We have a quorum. We have the uh, minutes of the December the 11th and January the 8th meetings. Do you have any corrections or changes? Move be approved, Mr. Chairman. Have a motion that be approved. Second. Have a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, like sign. They are approved. First item, we have one item of business today. We have uh, two sets of minutes. Uh, pardon me? Two sets of minutes. We have um, the December 11th, 2019, and then January I 8th. did. I read those off. Uh, okay. We, we approve both of them. Uh, okay. Okay. Do you want them separate? Um, it was for both of them, right, Jerry? Yes. Okay. okay. Any objection to that? Anybody? No one had any objections, so they were all approved. Sorry, Devin. Okay, ready? Have one item of business before us. Uh, this is Julio Benelli, and uh, he is asking a an accessory for an. Uh, special exception for an accessory dwelling. What do you have on that, please? Thank you. Application 2 2023 uh, involves the location at 1881 Kingwood Lane. It's a request for special exception approval for an accessory dwelling unit that does not meet the design standards for ADUs. This property is located in the RM uh, medium density residential zone. And Mr. Bonilla um, is uh, here before you tonight uh, because he is uh, in the process of constructing a garage addition with a second floor and uh, additional uh, additions to the living area of the principal structure. However, Mr. Bonilla wants to establish an accessory dwelling unit on the second floor of the garage that he is constructing. This unit would be occupied by his son and the reason he is coming before you is because that unit is attached and it exceeds the 25% square footage limitation for accessory dwelling units. Uh, the proposed ADU will measure 1,088 square feet and that uh, is 49% of the principal dwelling. We have received informational calls, but no one has indicated opposition or being in favor of the request. Um, he is, he, the applicant came in and spoke with both Doug and um, Mark from the building department uh, before he obtained his permits and ex explained what he was proposing to do. So he, it, the improvements are being constructed. However, it's going to take enough time that he realizes that if this is not approved, then he would not be able to establish the dwelling unit in the second floor of that garage. Uh, we found that the request met the criteria for special exception approval, and these, this is the photo of the principal dwelling, and um, this, uh, this is a view from Kingwood Lane looking towards, so he's got a, a visual screen from the road. This is adjacent properties and across the street as well. And you can see in this graphic where the location of the additions um, are proposed. Uh, this addition that kind of extends towards the south is the area where the garage is being extended and that second floor will house the accessory dwelling unit. And that concludes our presentation. You have, go ahead, Carrie. Did, did I hear you say that it's already been started? 
Well, he's allowed to construct the additions to the principal dwelling as well as construct a garage addition. He can have finished space above the garage. It just can't be established as an accessory dwelling unit and have those elements that make it uh, uh, livable independently of the primary structure. So, so they're both attached. It, it's attached to the principal dwelling, yes. Any questions of our staff anymore? Julio, would you please stand? Do we have any questions of the uh, applicant? Anybody? Just to acknowledge that he's here, thank you. May be seated. Do we have any other questions? We'll entertain a motion on it. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion we approve the request. I have a motion to be approved. Oh, did you open the public meeting? Oh, sorry. Need a public hearing. <laughs> we'll open this for a public hearing for anyone who'd like to speak on this. I'm sorry. Close the public hearing. Now. Motion to approve the request. I have a motion to be approved. Do we have a second? Second. Got a second. Call the roll, please. Gary Farley. Yes. Amber Brown. Yes. Joe Michotto. Yes. Jerry Sartain? Yes. William Harper? Yes. Renee Curtis? Yes. Zane Cantrell? Yes. Any other business to come before the BZA? No, sir. We are adjourned. Thank you.